Hi YouTube. Hope you're doing good. I'm doing okay. I stayed up really late last night um, watching a documentary on the Synagogue of Satan. It's five hours long. I'm going to share the link even if you watch it in parts, you know, like um, time market where you leave it off because it's in the internet archives. Um, but it is so worth it. I mean, there really, I didn't learn anything, um, but the refresher on everything was really interesting. And um, my topic, and this is why, because of all of what's going on, is Christianity disappearing? Is it disappearing into Judaism? Um, so many Christians think that, um, Jews and Christians believe the same, but the Torah dealing with the Old Testament and Christians that read the whole, well, it's not all of what should have been canonized, but the whole and the, the Old Testament and the New Testament, it's being where in my observation, a lot of what is being taught and pushed is from the older ways, although it's good to have that history and the understanding of the people of those times um, to read the whole thing. Uh, Christians believe in Revelation and... And, and, well, but what's happening to Christianity if every Christian is following a Jew? You're no longer a Christian. You're believing in their beliefs, not yours. It's, I mean, it doesn't hurt to see what the differences would be in those beliefs of faith. But, you know, I am more on that just, just a bit. So anyway, I am going to share that link in the description and then um, also, and hopefully it'll work. If it doesn't, it's on my community. If that doesn't work, I have it pinned over on my Facebook and the link to that <clears throat> is on my home page here so, or my same name, paste it on Facebook and look it up. It's there. And always a lot of other good information. So I stayed up late watching that. And then before I shared it, I wanted to just get it done today to share it with everybody. And to see what I thought about it first before I shared it. Something, <clears throat> if I know it's like um something I know about really well. Like say if it's like a story out of the scriptures. I can rest assured pretty much that I can share something, you know, out of a document and it's going to be the same, you know, but to have a, something put together written by Hitchcock and documents from 1886 until now uh, with the state of the world and the current events and the um, what they want to make a one world religion. This is so important for everybody to understand the roots of the situation, along with Christian, Jew, Muslim, whoever. It's really wise to understand the history of the whole thing. And of course, you're going to have varying viewpoints, whatever is going to benefit like who's the benefactor out of anything they believe i don't benefit anything aside from what i deem to be good or evil i get called the great unwashed and goy and goyim by a people that murder so what is unwashed you know anyway
That's what they call you, by the way. And I was reminded also yesterday that um, a Jew cannot even eat any food a Gentile has prepared or grown, you know, none of that. It has to be, all be done by other Jews because you're dirty. Well, I, you know, and I know, I well, being, I went to chef school. Um, I've seen Jews on TV that, like, for instance, when I cut an onion, I either wash the knife, I'll cut the ends off it and peel it. I wash that. I either wash the knife or I get an entirely clean knife. After I had went through the skin of that onion as careful as I could, is to not cross-contaminate with microorganisms that are out of the dirt. That's how unwashed I am. You know, whatever, to see what I'm saying. Anyway. I probably, um, like, know people that don't even like to shower every day or bathe, whatever. And it doesn't matter our heritage, you know. Then I do remind people that um, the Native Americans were able to teach even the pilgrims about latrines and washing and taking care of their hair and skin and winter months and all kinds of things, you know, they actually help them survive. Uh, like that story I was telling you a couple weeks ago, how it was in uh, the Carolinas when they were invaded and they took all the beaver for all their beaver hats and stuff that they were making. The beavers couldn't dam up the rivers like they typically would, and the natives would um, harvest trout and stuff and smoke them and have food through the winter. And even after those people came and invaded them and killed all the beaver, they still were able to help them survive through the winter. You know, that's pretty nice, pretty good people. Gee, you kill our way of life. We just have a little bit, but we're going to help you anyway. So That's the integrity of the Native people. And in all reality. Oh, and I shared this on my community last night. The Synagogue of Satan. The Sacred History of the Jew Jewish World Domination. It's a book. Um, the book of Revelation chapter 2 verse states the following, which would appear to be about the Asakanazi Jew. <clears throat> I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. And that brings to mind, and this is such, and then too, okay, there's two different things going on right now um, as far as that's concerned. Um, Jason from Archaix put out a uh, chronology of the Exodus out of Egypt last night, the third portion of that, that he's got the proof on all this, and Robert Seffer has got coming up the Canaanite bloodlines. Um, let me see what that was. Give me one moment. I'm going to, um, yeah, well, it, it is, yeah, I'm still here, I forget that I can go look at something and okay occult bloodlines of the Canaanites Canaan Canaan interesting huh so that um like I say I'll think something and some information I need and there it will be 
just like last night with this, um, so you can understand the difference between Christianity and who was actually killed even in Germany. Things people need to understand. If you believe in Christ, you need to get this information. And if you don't believe in it, you should have this information. Because it's actually about bloodlines, not your belief in who your creator is. So, to them it is. It's very important. So, I will leave the link and I hope you watch it. And the other ones I'll probably share. If you subscribe in my community, if you look there, I often put things on my community page. Um, if I don't link it here, you know, like a photo or some some kind of information that I thought was pretty interesting, worth sharing. So, and I'm even more skeptical. I scrutinize everything even more than I ever have for everybody, you know. Uh. A lot of people do understand. And yes, there are different types of people that speak Hebrew. There's different um, uh, sects within the Jewish community, <clears throat> you know. Some that do ritualistic things, some that don't. Some that observe, um, like days of their feasts and other things and ones that don't, you know, just um, kind of like within Christianity, there's different churches that call themselves Christian, but in Christ's own words, he said he cannot be found in the church. It's in the scriptures. That's what he says. To me, that tells me He's with the people like you and I that really don't have a home in a church. I mean, you might go to church and stuff, but I think you kind of got what I mean that your church doesn't really have a label like your Methodist or Lutheran or Catholic or whatever, and you still believe in Christ and the Trinity, but... Um, it's just not in a church, you know. To me, New Jerusalem, that's the Church of Christ. That's when that's fully in control. That's heaven on earth. That's when heaven comes down to earth. Is when the Almighty is in control of the world. I believe that's going to happen. A lot of people don't. There's people that believe in the Almighty, but they think that this is going to go on forever and ever like it is. And that's just like it's a program, and that's the way it is. And I'm more on the belief of, even if it were a program, software programs can be amplified or um, added to or taken away or whatever. You know, like any program, it can be changed. So even if it were just X's and O's and that's how um, Satan knows what we're going to do next or whatever, and that explains deja vu and everything else, that it We've all been through this before. But I'm not a big believer that a version of me exists in other universes. Um, I'm a believer that we each have our own individual soul. And that's just what I believe. I Now I believe that... Um, 
there are like seven spirits of God. And in that part, and I'm not saying God our Father, but in that part is the smallest amount of control that Satan has on this planet. Like if it were the worst version of the best of who is. Because it says no darkness can be found in God. There is no darkness in him. Well, he has a son. It does not say the same thing as that. Just something to think about, you know. <laughs> I've tried to tell people before, but, you know, yeah. You'll, you'll, you'll know. You'll know when you hear it. At least uh, what, what I've learned and what I think. I don't know. What I'm not too sure of. Well, yeah, I'm sure everybody is going to be okay. <laughs> I just wanted to go mean there for a second, but my heart wouldn't let me do it, you know. Some people can do that just on the fly. They're like, well, yep, there I go. I'm mean again. I don't care, <laughs> you know. It's true. Oh, I'll give you another example of the goy and the great unwashed, how unwashed I am. Um, when I first met Doug, and I've done this with many people, but... um. He spilt a beer by my dining room table, and I was just disgusted. And I got my mop and some pine salt and bleach, and this demons hate that shit. And, and I know, I know from experience, like, they know what bothers me, and I know what bothers them. So I even mopped his shoes. Not because they had beer on them, because he spilt it in my house. And then he was kind of stupid and didn't say nothing about it at first, you know. It's like, I think he was too drunk. Anyway, that's when I was really feeling sorry for him because he is, was just going through a separation and not seeing his kid and that type of thing. So, yeah. So he's a little messed up <laughs> when I first met him. I did actually save his life one time when I was about 18. And I almost didn't, but and I didn't even know him. I just found out later it was him that I had saved. But then when um, I got to know him later in life through a friend, um, I saved his life again because he was dying, you know. He, he had lost the will to live, actually, you know, that type of what people would call the dark night of the soul. What I didn't know is um, he's also a master narcissist, so that part I didn't quite get at first. <laughs> I thought I had met the best of those till then. <laughs> till then I had. Now it's quite common. But you really need to know the difference between a Christian and a Jew. It's very, very important. I can't stress that enough. You know, people forget that Jews instigated, um, they're, they're the ones who killed Christ. You'll find that out. You'll find out a whole lot more. So, stuff that I talk about, stuff that everybody else talks about, Stuff that you already know, but put together in such a way with the timeline that there's no disputing it. And there's there's um, 
a multitude of evidence on each statement. It's, there is nothing empty. Even the Jewish and the Hebrew speaking people, the Jewish heritage, um, I would even recommend you watch it. Go ahead, scrutinize it and say anything you want. But I lived through these times, a lot of the times they're talking about. And there's some irresputable stuff in there that's damning towards a faith that thinks lesser of other people. You need to really watch this, you know, whoever you are. Or at least do like I do and other people do. Watch what your enemy is doing so you know how to attack them. You know. The only way I can attack them is speak the word of truth and put an end to the lies. I don't actually kill people like the people uh, I'm talking about. That's the difference. It's a pretty big difference, isn't it? Between a culture that's willing to murder and ones that aren't. It's a big difference. <laughs> yeah, if you don't watch that Robert Seffer one, probably in a couple days when he, I didn't see what the date was on there. I'll put it through for sure. Especially if I know it's factual because I've seen all the bloodlines and where they migrated and who they married and their name changing and all of it. I studied it. So I'll know if it's true. You know. I had somebody um, that had an Irish name and she was like, do you know who my ancestors are? I wrote back, probably a part of mine. And I'm thinking, okay, you're probably like 10th generation on this note. But yeah, I know exactly who you are. You know, that type of thing. But, you know, what am I supposed to say? Abacadabra, cadabra, there you are. You know? No, I'm talking about the bloodlines the 12 tribes and who exactly they are and where they migrated. And in general, if somebody were Irish or Scottish or Welch or English or something or whatever, and then I could tell them where their ancestors came from, you know, that type of thing. Or how closely related, like I tell people like the Norwegians and the Chinese are. You would never think that. Or to think that Jews are in China. It's like I used to tell people, you know, I'd walk in on conversations and my Masonic dad sitting there talking to people in Singapore, you know. It's weird shit. So yeah, they're all over the world and it doesn't matter the heritage because they've intermarried everywhere for that reason. And you'll see the empire that was built to keep you as a slave. That's what you need to see. This is Satan against God. And that's why they don't abide by the Christ spirit. And we do because we have that in us first. We got the word first. And that's why we have the New Testament. That actually they tried to mess with too. But that's, you know. And doesn't it bother you ladies that any, any writings or teachings that were of any of the women in the Bible it really isn't covered or books that were taken out. Yeah, it should bother you. You know? 
was taken out by people that wouldn't even let women read the scriptures. The Jews that people want to be now because they say they're chosen. Well, Christ said, don't look for me in the desert. And he can't be found in a church, so. <laughs> yeah, he's not in the synagogue either. And I ask any rabbi. <laughs> They're not going to talk about Christ. So people need to really stop wanting to be a Jew. If you're not. You know. So when they lay the smack down on the United States. With their no, their no hide laws. That are already written into our books. In our White House. If you knew the depths of that, that would flip you right out. should. All things I talk about that they want to do, even marrying little people regardless of the gender. That's why all the Baphomet shit and all the trans this and that and the next thing, that's why. To normalize this shit. Stability is always a good thing. Chaos doesn't really end well. Really do yourself a favor and watch that documentary. You know, do everybody you know a favor and watch that. It's a little boring, but it'll be worth it. You'll see what I mean. You know? You could not get a better education of history and what went on from then until now. And not even, I mean, not even 2,000 years ago, but just a couple hundred. If you go... 300 years ago and see all that was implemented, even the last 200 years, it'll blow you away. You'd be like, how could this be? How could this change so drastically? You know, like they got such control. Well, they always did have because people would never really get it they didn't want to believe it they didn't want to believe that other human beings didn't care about them you know who wants to believe that you know that there could be actual evil that you can't perceive because it's not in you you know Or hopefully it's not. That's probably about it for today. This is so serious. Really. And what do you think actually because this is so serious? Um, is Christianity being murdered by Judaism? Seems so. But people better really understand what's going on with the mixtures of all these religions um, pretending that they're all coming together like that. And that is not who we are. You just got to really know that. Please. You know. For yourselves. Well that's some heavy stuff. <laughs> Alright everybody. I appreciate you joining me. Oh. Oh. Here's now something real quick. I found out. I thought. Somebody was just like anti-God and they were just a cruel person and they were coming at me and I was ready to fight. 
seriously. And then I found out that isn't really what it was. It was somebody that believed in the mother goddess because she's not a person of war. Mother creator, I forget how he worded it. I believe in the mother, I think he wrote, because she's not a goddess of war. Then I got, I understood where he was coming from. But I told him, I said, just hang on through language and um, the changes and the twists and the people out there, we're, we're getting proof for you. And um, I said, just give give me a chance and give us give us a chance to show you, you know. So anyway, so we can have the spirit of God within him, you know, and not feel like a jerk. And he's the one that asked me what the female version of jerk was after I called him a jerk. <laughs> so. What did I say at first? Well, on here I said jerkette, but I said, um, gee, you know what? I'm going to go look because it was, no, no, I would take too long. Anyway, yeah, it was kind of funny. Pretty much I said, I think what you call it is somebody that's um, not going to put up with your baloney or whatever. I said something. A little witty back at them, you know. But okay, everybody, thank you for joining me. Please watch that documentary. It's it's the most important thing in the whole world right now for everybody that's not a Satanist <clears throat> and people that don't know they are. Well, if you are supporting. The two Canaanite tribes that are battling in the Middle East. Uh -huh. Maybe you're a Satanist. Okay. Peace and love from Pine City, Minnesota, USA. Have a good night or day wherever you're at.